Ladies and gentlemen, the Chief Executive Officer of Rolls-Royce Motor Cars, Mr. Torsten Müller-Ertwesch. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the Rolls-Royce Motor Cars press conference here in Geneva. I would also like to welcome our chairman, Ian Robertson. I'm delighted to report to you today that Rolls-Royce Motor Cars is enjoying a period of unprecedented success at the pinnacle of the luxury marketplace. And last year saw the most cars ever sold by Rolls-Royce, 31% up on 2010. And the 3,538 cars we delivered also beat the previous historic record set in 1978. And many European markets performed strongly last year despite instability in the Eurozone. Germany, for example, reported a doubling in sales. And meanwhile, our third largest and home market, the United Kingdom, saw growth of 30%. So the story of Rolls Royce continues to be a truly great British success story. And the sense of cautious optimism with which I approach the year continues. And my very clear expectation is also to report another record sales year for 2012 when our figures are published next January. Ladies and gentlemen, Rolls-Royce conducts its business in the rarefied upper end of the luxury goods marketplace. No other luxury brand sells more cars in the plus 200,000 euro segment than Rolls-Royce. Our cars are an exceptional sight on the world's roads. And I can tell you, our customers like it that way. And we intend to keep it that way. So we have no desire to become a mass luxury brand with five-figure annual sales volumes. Our customers likewise have no interest in seeing Rolls Royces on every street corner and in every supermarket parking lot. Rolls Royce is the pinnacle luxury goods trademark in the world. And to be pinnacle means we have to be exclusive. And being exclusive essentially means remaining rare. So Rolls-Royce will always remain a rare and precious drop in the ocean of luxury goods worldwide. So ladies and gentlemen, I'm very pleased to be able to report to you that our company is in good shape. Rolls-Royce motor cars is lean and very profitable. And our manufacturing plant at Goodwood is highly flexible and is able to adapt quickly to changes in volatile market demands. We have a dedicated and also highly motivated workforce who are passionate about Rolls Royce. And we have extremely successful products that are the absolute pinnacle in luxury and refinement. The Rolls Royce Ghost and the Ghost Extended Wheelbase were major contributors to our 2011 record sales. The Rolls-Royce Ghost is a car that has all the unmistakable hallmarks of a Rolls-Royce. Luxury, hand craftsmanship, and attention to every single detail. Delivered in a subtle and very understated manner. And this beautiful and sophisticated car has brought a new and younger audience to Rolls-Royce. A client base that has grown with the introduction of the Ghost Extended Wheelbase last year. When talking of our clients, I'm often asked what makes a typical Rolls-Royce owner. And I have to tell you, there isn't one. However, it is true that all our clients, be they captains of industry, film stars, or heads of states, they all have similar expectations. And firstly, they demand the best. And that goes without any saying. But secondly, when approaching their purchase of a Rolls Royce, they expect much more than just a car. What they are looking for is a classical luxury item that reflects their innermost desires, wildest aspirations, and the success they have achieved in their business and also in their personal life. And this is exactly what Rolls Royce delivers. 
This is also why our unique bespoke personalization service has performed so well. Bespoke is fundamental to our brand promise and its success is one of the reasons why we are expanding the home of Rolls Royce at Goodwood this year. And what is of our pinnacle Phantom family? So I shall reveal more in a few moments. But before, allow me briefly to take you back to the turn of the 21st century when the BMW Group became owner and also brand custodians of the Rolls Royce mark. And the task for the new Rolls Royce was daunting. Rebuild the prestige and the product line of Rolls Royce motor cars and bring to market the best car in the world. And this would be an extraordinary goal for any manufacturer, left alone only with the weight of expectations that came with the famous Rolls Royce name. And of course, the spirit of ecstasy as its mascot of excellence. And we rose to that challenge. The reaction to the magnificent Phantom was outstanding. The car sparked a Rolls Royce renaissance. It combined the spirit of its famous pedigree with elegant design work, groundbreaking technology, and visionary engineering techniques. And the famous words of Sir Henry Royce, strive for perfection in everything you do, once more echoed through the hallways of the superbly designed new home of Rolls Royce in Goodwood, and still does. Phantom revived and they reclaimed the pinnacle of automotive luxury and refinement. And it has maintained this position ever since. It is a completely unique and unequaled achievement that goes beyond its primary role as a car and becomes to many a work of art, a fine piece of jewelry or a rare and collectible object of desire. And it's exactly this pinnacle position of Phantom that has ensured its remarkable success. Discerning collectors will always seek the finest acquisitions, and Phantom has continued to satisfy this demand over the years. However, we cannot rely on past glories. Today is a new world. Technology has moved on, and our Phantom family must keep up with these exciting times. But changing a beloved luxury icon is a delicate task that requires a cautious approach and meticulous preparation. And so we have listened carefully to our customers and also to their wishes. And around the world, they have explicitly told us, do not change Phantom too much, but introduce new technology where appropriate. And this is what we have done. Sophisticated but subtle visual refreshments have been made to the exterior and the interior of the car. And extensive under-the-skin technology upgrades have been introduced. And the car remains unmistakably a Rolls-Royce Phantom. And so today, it's my pleasure to introduce to you the Rolls-Royce Phantom Series 2.
the thoroughly modern front of Phantom Series 2 is striking and artistically elegant. And above the redesigned front bumpers, we have introduced new cutting-edge LED headlights. And these dynamic lights permit beam patterns to change automatically in response to cornering and also different driving conditions. Phantom Series 2 is the first car in the world to offer full LED headlights as standard equipment. And the basis for the extraordinary driving experience of the car is retained. It's super stiff, lightweight aluminum space frame and the powerful ultra-silent 12-cylinder engine. However, the engine is now married to a new 8-speed gearbox, further enhancing drive dynamics whilst maintaining the serene, effortless Rolls-Royce ride comfort. Improvements in fuel consumptions and lower CO2 emissions come as a welcome consequence. So we've also redesigned the visual and tactile interface to our drivers. They experience within the car. Every model in the range now benefits from new driver assistance systems. For example, the entire satellite navigation and information system has been improved. Data is now delivered on a larger monitor, underlined by eight function keys, bringing extra functionality and convenience. Front, rear, and also top view camera systems are also new additions. Phantom Series 2 with its more contemporary design, improved driving dynamics and information systems reinforces Rolls-Royce's reputation at the pinnacle of a luxury aspiration. For Phantom, it's so much more than a motor car. It stands as a symbol of success, the ultimate and luxurious refinement. So ladies and gentlemen, since 2003, the Rolls-Royce Phantom has given our customers an additional masterpiece to place alongside their other prized and precious possessions. It has taken its rightful place beside our clients' yachts, helicopters, art, and jewelry collections as a proud symbol of success and achievement. And I quoted Sir Henry Royce a few minutes ago, and in closing, I would like to do so once again. In the early years of the last century, while striving to create the best car in the world, he urged his colleagues on with the following words, take the best that exists and make it better. And today, we have done exactly that. Ladies and gentlemen, I invite you to join me on the stand to see for yourself. Thank you very much.